Conondale Range Great Walk is located within Conondale National Park, an hour's drive northwest of the Sunshine Coast and a two hour drive from Brisbane. Access roads within the park are gravel and include several creek crossings that require a high clearance four wheel drive vehicle. The Conondale Great Walk is a four day 56 km circuit that starts and finishes at Balloomba Creek. Today I just do the first section from Balloomba Creek to Wongai Walkers Camp. While only 11 km, it's mostly uphill and passes two waterfalls and an old abandoned gold mine. Took a short little detour, 300 meters up to a, an old abandoned gold mine. It's pretty cool. It's uh, be an amazing thing to go and have a look inside, but for obvious reasons, it's just not safe to go in there. You know, old mines that could collapse. Plus, there's uh, bat colonies living in there now, so you don't want to go disturbing the wildlife, or worse yet. Be at risk of uh, getting some kind of disease from them if they bite, scratch. But yeah, it was pretty interesting anyway, so well worth the 300 meters extra journey up to have a look. Anyway, I keep on going. See this little snake here. Tiny little guy. Not sure what type he is. The golden rule is if you don't know, don't touch. So we've got toilet facilities here, we've got tank water, obviously you need to treat it before drinking, 
and uh, I'll go and have a look around at the campsites. So the campsites are all reasonably small, like this small little pad for your tent and an elevated table. Pretty basic, but what more do you want, really? It's nice and isolated anyway. So dinner tonight. Just got some dehydrated uh, Cajun corn chowder. So, so in here we've got, we've got corn, lentils, potato, uh, we've got some celery, some garlic, some coconut milk powder, we've got some uh, chilli, cane pepper, thyme and some paprika. So it's heated, we've got it in there, and we just wait 10-15 minutes while it rehydrates. Pretty good. So always remember to take your rubbish out with you. And as usual, Ziploc bags make a fantastic rubbish bin. So pack down really small and tight, airtight, and also watertight too for things like your coffee bag. <clears throat> So I almost stepped on this bloke. Being colorblind, it's almost impossible to tell what color he is. But anyway, I do need to move past him. I don't know if the video will be saved or not, but I took the drone out back at the um, Artist Cascades to try and get some footage. It's flying along, and then uh, it was like it just flipped into sports mode. 
and just shot off at maximum speed straight into the rock wall bounced down the waterfall and into the water so yeah ended up having to get wet feet going to get it and um, yeah we'll check out the SD card when we get home but that was just disastrous <laughs> disastrous and expensive but anyway these things happen we'll, uh, Yeah, if there's still footage, I'll include it. You can have a laugh. And, uh, be a bit like a black box, wouldn't it? Get to see what happened. From where I was standing, it looked like it had just accelerated into sports mode. The nose of it tipped down, and it just shot off straight into the wall. Um, so, yeah. Oh, well. Might be able to chalk that one up to a malfunction and not pilot error, hopefully. <laughs> and hopefully it still works too when it dries out. It is fresh water, so you know, there's every possibility. It was still powered on when I went and picked it up out of the water. So, turned it off, took the battery out, shook what water out I could. We'll give it a try when we get home. Anyway. Only got about 5k's left this morning and then I'm out so it's just a little short one today like the roots of the vine as though the vine had attached to the tree before it grew and the tree just grew and pulled the roots out of the ground I don't know how else that could have happened amazing <laughs> 